Hello and welcome to another episode of Ins and Outs. I'm your show host, Andrew Botros. Today we are joined by some of the youth from St. Mark's Church in Sydney, Australia. To my left, we have Team Red with Rebecca, Carol and Mark. Welcome to the show. And to my right, we have Team Blue with Mariam, Veronica and Mina. Welcome to the show as well. This show is a trivia-based show with five rounds of general ability as well as biblical questions focusing on Acts chapter 9 and 10. Each correct question will yield 10 points and each incorrect question will minus 10 points from your total score. We're starting off with round one with five questions directed to Team Red. We're starting now. Name three countries beginning with the letter E. Egypt, England, Ethiopia. That's correct. In Acts chapter 9, where was Saul or Paul travelling to when he had a vision that blinded him? Damascus. Damascus. That's correct. Rearrange the letters in listen to create another word for quiet. Silence. Correct. Spell influence. I N F L E N C E. <laughs> That's incorrect. How many days was Saul or Paul blind? Three. That's correct. Well done, Team Red. You're on 140 points with only one question incorrect. Now to Team Blue. Name three countries beginning with the letter G. Greece. Germany. Germany. Greenland. That's correct. In Acts chapter 9, what was the name of the disciple Saul or Paul met after he was blinded? Ananias. Correct. Rearrange the letters in state to create a word of one of your senses. Taste. Correct. Spell onomatopoeia. O-N-O-M-A-T-I-O-P-I-A. That's incorrect. Who took St. Paul to see the apostles? Barnabas. Correct. And that is round one concluded for Team Blue. 140 points as well. That is a draw. We'll now be starting off round two. 60 seconds on the clock. Beat the buzz around. Questions starting now. Serena Williams is a professional in which sport? Six. Tennis. Correct. What does NBA stand for in sport? Number six. National Basketball Association. That is correct. After Saul's sight was restored, what was the next thing he did? Number six. He got baptized. Correct. Who is the current Prime Minister of Canada? Number four. Justin Trudeau. Trudeau. Correct. How many children did Prince William and Princess Kate have? Number one. Three. Correct. What does the Greek word agape mean? Number four. Love. Correct. In Acts chapter 9, what was the Tanner Peter stayed? Number 4. Simon. That is correct. Whoa! <laughs> in clutch. What is the capital city of Spain? Number 4. Barcelona. Incorrect, Madrid. In what sport is the word love used to keep a score? Number 2. Tennis. Correct. What is the name of the mountain upon which Moses received the Ten Commandments? Number 1. Sinai. Correct. Who is hosting the Summer Olympics this year? Number 4. Japan? Tokyo. Oh, Tokyo. In Japan, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> no. Obviously. Yeah, correct. Um, Wait, that's correct. right. That's right. No, sorry. No. Wow. That's kind of right. That's okay, we'll let it slide. No. We're, we're Christians. What is the highest belt you can receive in karate? Number six. Black. That's correct. How many cards are there in a the standard deck? Number six. 52. Correct. Winnie the Pooh wears what coloured shirt? Number four. Red. Correct. And that concludes round two. Well done to Team Red, you're on the lead with 230 points. And Team Blue is on 170 points. We'll now be starting off round three. True or false questions starting now. True <laughs> or false, there is an eagle on the Australian flag. Number five. False. Correct. True or false, the book of Acts ends with the word Amen. Number five. False. Correct. True or false, the game baseball has six bases. Number three. False. Correct. True or false. Paul's name was first Saul. True. Number four. <laughs> True. True or false, seven times three is 21. Number four. True. Correct. True or false, Peter was staying in the city of Joppa when Cornelius, number four. True. Correct. True or false, dolphins have only one stomach. Number four. False. Correct, only two stomachs. True or false, Moses had a brother named Samuel. Number four. False. False, it was Aaron. True or false, one 
1,149 minus 140 is 1,000. Number three. False. That's correct. It's 1,002. And that concludes round three. Well done, Team Red still in the lead with 300 points and Team Blue just a tiny bit behind them with 180 points. All right, we're now starting off round four. Test your memory round. Questions will be asked in the passage I'll be reading out below. Listen attentively. We commemorate the departure of St. Gregory the Wonder Worker on the 21st of Hathor. In the year 270 AD, St. Gregory the Wonder Worker departed. He was the Bishop of Neo Caesarea in the province of Pontos, where he was born to rich pagan parents. He learned philosophy and wisdom at an early age and surpassed many of his colleagues. Then he went to Beirut, where he studied the Greek and Latin subjects. From there, he went to Caesarea Palestine, where he met Oregon, who taught him Christian philosophy. He also learned theology and interpretations of the holy books. In the year 239 AD, he was baptized in the holy baptism and became a Christian. For he realized the vanity of this world and chose the way of the everlasting kingdom of heaven. He directed all his attention to the salvation of his soul. When he knew that the bishop of his town was seeking to assist him in the bishopric duties, he escaped the wilderness. He devoted himself to praise and ardent worship, forsaking the world and the futility of its glories. The Lord performed many wonders and signs at his hands, so that he can be called the Wonder Worker. Question starting now. When do we commemorate the departure number 6? 21st of Hathor. That is correct. True or false, St. Gregory's parents were Christians. Number 1. False. Correct, they were pagans. Where did he study Greek and Latin? Number five. Peru. <laughs> Correct. Now, next question. Who taught St. Gregory Christian philosophy? Number one. Oregon. Correct. What year was he baptized? Number three. 239 AD. Correct. Why did he escape to the wilderness? Number one. Because they wanted to make him a bishop. Correct. What did St. Gregory devote himself to? Number four. Philosophy. Incorrect prayers and ardent worship. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> Why was St. Gregory called the Wonder Worker? Number six. He performed many miracles. That is correct. And that concludes round four. Well done, Team Red. Still in the lead with 320 points and Team Blue with 220 points. We're now beginning round five. Another beat the buzzer round. 60 seconds on the clock starting now. What is the chemical formula for water? Number two. H2O. Correct. What is the name of the woman Peter raises from the dead in Acts chapter 9, number 4? Tabitha. Correct. Which brand is this slogan from It Gives You Wings? Number 3. Red Bull. Correct. What is 43 times 3? Number 4. 129. Correct. What hour of the Agbeya do we read in the beginning was the word number 1? First. Correct. How many minutes in a game of rugby? Number 3. 80. <laughs> Correct. What is the largest continent? Number three. Antarctica. Incorrect. Asia. What is the name of the centurion that Peter meets? Number six. Cornelius. Correct. What is the smallest, flightest bird? A kiwi. Number four. A kiwi. That is correct. Oh my god! What's the biggest animal in the world? Is it number four? A blue whale. How did you know? <laughs> that is correct. In Acts chapter 9, how many times did the vision repeat itself? Number 4. 3. Correct. True or false, 1030 minus 80 is 96. Number 4. False. That is correct. It's 960. Oh. <laughs> what is the smallest ocean in the world? Is it the Atlantic Ocean or the Arctic Ocean? Number 6. Atlantic. Incorrect. It's the Arctic Ocean. Next question. What does HE stand for on the periodic number 3? Helium. Correct. <laughs> what is four cubes? Number three. 64. That is correct. The final score update is Team Red still in the lead with two, 380 points and Team Blue with 280 points. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone so much for participating. We'll catch you next time on the Ins and Outs show. Have a good night and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.